Hey guys, welcome back to Judo Highlights. We'll have a look at the semi final between Japan and Uzbekistan for the World Championships, and this is the team event. So, thumbs up on the video, subscribe, let me know in the comments if you want to see the other semi final, which was against France and Georgia. So, I don't usually do this kind of content, but people seem to like it, so we'll just keep doing it if people like it. So, the first match here against Arai and Ilmatova. In the very first contest, plus 70, and this was decided by a randomizer. So it's kind of fun. You never know who's going to go out there first and what order things are going to happen in. Now this choke here, this clock choke that Arai is looking for, almost gets it, rolls over, and then Ilmatova here, she's kind of pointing to the ref that the gi was above the chin, and you can't choke people in judo with the gi above the chin. But that choke will be key later on in this match. So just put that in the back of your minds. And this coach here from Uzbekistan, pretty passionate. You'll see him appear a couple of times. Now I think for the team events, they can have one coach in the coaching box and then they can have their head coach kind of along with the athletes. So you see Suzuki Keiji uh, with the athletes and also Iliadis. He's with the Uzbekistan athletes as well. So you notice Arai got two Shidos against her, Ilmatova just the one. So Arai having to pick up the pace here, put in some attacks, or potentially face that third Shido. This grip here, a bit dangerous to take by Arai, she can't hold on to it without doing anything with it for long. Or she will get that third Shido, so she had to take it off, and then dealing with a bit of pressure here. But a good also the attack, and just as the clock goes, so we're into golden score. So I would say Arai just put in a good attack, which keeps her safe from that third penalty at the moment. And you'll, you'll start to notice that Ilmatova, she starts to run out of gas. Arai, very used to this. Very used to long randories here in Japan. And she just couldn't, couldn't deal with the pressure. That was kind of that clock choke. And then she turned it, used the pressure to turn it into the Osaikomi. And you can see the look on Ilmatova, she she is done. So Arai, it wasn't wasn't the prettiest fight, but stuck it out. Got aggressive when she got two Shidos. And came out with the win. So one point to Japan, zero to Uzbekistan. And up next we're at plus 90, and this was a quick one. These guys went at it. Now Nakano, he's not the the top guy for Japan at plus 100. That would be Saito. There's also Alta. But Todoboyev, he is definitely the number one Uzbekistan uh, judoka at under 100s. Being a previous world champion himself. And this is his signature technique. Look at that. Massive butt. He ends up injuring his head, landing straight on his head. And he really wanted the doctor. And I thought this was I thought this was really bad. He did land directly on his head. Surprisingly, doesn't get Hansokomake for it. Usually for head diving in judo, I mean you would be you would be penalized. And you can see Suzuki at the back, he is signaling to the video referees, hey what what's going on here? His head hit the mat. Should that not be head diving? So miraculously, Uzbekistan up a point. One to one now. And if that's not head diving, I don't know what is. Third match up now. And we've got Tamoki against Aminova. And Tamoki, she really put on the pressure from the very first second, looking for Newaza immediately. Didn't quite get it here. But she just continues. And what you'll you'll really start to notice in the team event that the women are really central to it. And that's why the French team do so well, because they have such a strong women's team. Now Tamaoki straight into the Newaza. And of course Japan as well. I mean their women's team. Just as strong. 
Well, this is going to be a really so 20 seconds for an Ippon here and Tamaoki, she's done well, had a game plan, came out and executed it beautifully. So two points to Japan now. And we're going to switch over to the men's division now for the next match. And we've got Tanaka against Yoldoshev. Now Tanaka, he's relatively new. Yoldoshev, he's been on the circuit for quite some time, has a lot of medals under his belt. Tanaka putting on the pressure here, and then Yudushev returns. But Yudushev, he actually got a Shido for stepping out there. Tanaka looking for a sleeve grip. And Yudushev, you'll see that awkward grip on the left side. Look for a Kataguruma. He had his right hand on the left side, grabbing the sleeve. And then his lapel hand as well, which is a, a typical setup. For a Kataguruma. This time Tanaka going lapel first instead of going for sleeve first. So mixing it up a little bit. And good grip break. Although Yudoshev gets his grip back and then he looks for a bit of a fake. And Tanaka into the Juji. Try to capitalize on that. Didn't get it. Yudoshev very aware of what's happening on the ground. And I really want to know where those guys got those hats from. Those are some cool hats. This is a crucial match, I believe, for the Japanese. So left is right situation. Uchimata attempt by Tanaka. And he's trying to get the sleeve at the same time. And he's doing really well with that undergrip. Causing lots of problems for Yodashev. Definitely dominating the Kumite here. Looking for a bit of Newaza. Doesn't get it. Tries to push him over. Doesn't get that either. But some really good pressure by Tanaka. Time to fix the Gi. Yodashev. So Yudoshev, he's got to do something here, because Tanaka is really dominating the Kumite, the Kumikata. But Ashiwaza, Kataguruma again, and Tanaka looking to pick him up. You see the Uzbek team in the, in the crowd there, supporting their team. Bultoboyev waiting in the back as well. And Iliadis too, has he gone into the coach's box? Oh look at that, that was a nice attack. Also the Gadi. Really low also the Gadi for a Wazari. Into the Osaikomi. And he just needs 10 seconds here. So Tanaka dominated the grips. And then the technique just came. Found the right opportunity for it. Let's have a look at that again. So you see dominating the grips, looks for a Seuinage, and then on the return just starts attacking, and Yodoshev gets caught with the wrong foot forward, and Tanaka hooked on with that also Dugari. So next up under 70, and we've got Hon Honda versus Nazarov. Now Honda, I couldn't find her information on Judo Base, and I kind of have a Suspicion that she is either a first year university student or still in high school. Botoboyev getting some instruction here from Todoboyev. Because if Nazarova wins this fight, then that'll be 2 3. And so they'd bring out the under 90s for the men's. And that would be Botoboyev versus Kawabata. So Nazarova fancies herself on the ground a little bit here, doesn't get it, and then Condor tries to return. So when it is designated Nemwaza, you're allowed to grab the legs, and so Honda is welcome to tackle the legs there. And you can see Iliadis patiently waiting. I thought he was just in the coaching box, 
Now I'm confused. So I think they can have two coach coaches and they can just alternate out of the coaching box, which is interesting. Honda, a lot of downwards pressure on the sleeves there. And then Nazarova, I don't think she could think of anything else but that kind of Kosoto that she went for. Now Kondo, she's got that arm around the belt, which a lot of people use these days for turnovers. And she's getting a lot of turnovers, but she's not securing anything. Now she's going to look to get that knee out, but she probably has to secure the, the top half a little bit more before she does so. And she's got that bicep across the face, but not really a grip. There goes the leg. And the Osaikomi. But Nazarova, she got out. And as I said, she just didn't, didn't have the upper body secured enough. And Japanese judoka on the back, probably not many options to them. They don't train that very often. So they're going to stand that up. 38 seconds on the clock. Two Shidos to Nazarova, one for Honda. Good grips now by Honda. Now Nazarova, she has ducked under and also gone to the ground. And so I think a, a third Shido is coming here. Just keeps working there. I think the coach, I think he knows it too. And you can see the ref, she is looking over to the table, looking for a little bit of confirmation. And yes, here it comes, third Shido for Nazarova. So four points for Japan, one to Uzbekistan. Some really nice throws. We had a big throw from Todobayev, some nice judo from Tadaka. So Uzbekistan, they'll be in the bronze medal contest and then Japan into the final. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.